The internet is an archive, and it's not immune to history, and just like history, it repeats itself. Uh, if you remember back in 2018, we had a problem with a Tide Pod challenge. Uh, the little silly things that look like candy, and so you'd stick it in your mouth, and it would actually be laundry detergent, and people were, you know, getting very, very sick because of it. Well, <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit of a revival, but not in the form of a candy, more the form of the powder laundry detergent, Borox. And, uh, so there's been a bit of a growing trend on TikTok recently. Not a very big one, but something that I wanted to make a video about regardless because you shouldn't be consuming um, Borox in any capacity because you get it from anything else in your day, which I'm going to talk about in this video. Also, I'm sorry that I was late to posting this video today. I actually went to Washington, D.C., which you might be like, oh, he went to Washington, D.C., a monument to this country's history. Where did, what did he do? Did he go to the Lincoln Memorial? Did he go to the Washington Monument? Did he really take in the sights? No, I went to the reflection pool in between both of those monuments, and I fed some baby ducks. You want to see? I'll post a video right now. Here, check this out. Those things were adorable, and I'm so happy they decided to interact with me for some reason. Uh, they started eating my ring because I actually just picked up some grass off the ground to feed them because I didn't have any food with me, so I, I didn't really know the appropriate way to go about this, but then they started trying to eat my ring, so there's that. But you know what you shouldn't be eating? Borox! Here, check this video out from this TikToker that I found. Um, Mandy, I, I'm not even gonna try and... Mandy at random? Oh, Mandy at random, that's their name. Let's check this out, and also don't do this. <laughs> also, I'm going to preface this right now. Please do not go and, like, harass her at all. I- I don't care if she said something stupid online that doesn't justify you being the police. You're not the- you're not the internet police. I know that all these content creators are like, don't witch hunt, and they don't give a reason. You're not the police. You're just being a dickhead online. Don't do it. Anyway, check this video out. <laughs> so, I put detergent in my water every single day, and let me tell you why. But don't worry, I just put... a pinch. Okay, but why am I drinking it? Let's get to the important stuff. It's great for hormones. Balances testosterone and estrogen. It's a powerhouse anti-inflammatory, specifically the ones that go after breast cancer, obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance, the list goes on. Oh, and uh, lung cancer, heart disease, depression, and more. Boron is totally essential for your body to absorb magnesium, calcium, oh, and it prevents vitamin D deficiency. Basically, it prolongs the amount of time that vitamin D and like other minerals stay in your body in the actual useful form. Now, what's scary about this is some of the things she's saying aren't completely inaccurate. See, the thing is, there's borax, and then she switches halfway through the video to boron. And you think, oh, well, these TikTok brains, they're not going to really process this, so they don't know the difference. Borax is a chemical compound. It's one we mine to do things like create, I don't know, like flea killer, cockroach killer, ant killer, make slime, if you want to be a fun craft person, and things like that. It's not the good thing to consume. In fact, actually, I think the, the healthy consumption amount for an adult is 10 to 25 milligrams, and for a child, 5 to 6 milligrams. Well, you want to know something really cool about boron? You get it in your fruit. If you just eat healthily, you don't have to put laundry detergent in your food. <laughs> you could just- you could just eat. That's all good. You don't need to poison yourself. Because the thing is, borax is the chemical compound. Boron is the element found inside of borax. And boron does actually help with, um, like, uh, bone density, teeth reparation, stuff like that. That is actually a benefit of boron. But when you put it into a chemical compound like borax, it becomes a lot more lethal for you, which is a problem. By the way, I'm learning all of this just now, all this borax and boron stuff. There's a science lesson for me as well, and for you sitting here watching, subscribing, and liking the video. Um, but if there are any scientists in chat who think I'm wrong or know I'm wrong and want to let me know, please let me know in the comments, because I am very well always open to be told that I'm wrong. And if someone does drop a paragraph about some factual stuff, I'll pin the comment because this information is kind of vital you shouldn't be eating poison <laughs> this website literally has no clue i mean it knows it's just so funny it's like you yeah, know borax is harmful boron isn't borax is but don't worry no adult would ever come into any situation where they'd be consuming a lethal amount of borax Unless you're a TikToker sprinkling it in your water and telling other people to do it. And that's the scary thing. People will do this. I mean, and even the, some of the things she said were false. Like, the um, insulin resistance and diabetes. Me being a type 1 diabetic, I feel like I have a little bit of say in this situation. Uh, no, it won't do that. It, it can help with your thyroid, which could hypothetically 
it like 10 steps later result in something related to a insulin resistance or sugar issue with your blood but uh no it doesn't just cure diabetes i think that's such a silly thing too so many different sites and this is me as a diabetic having this information. So many different sites have these, like, miracle cures to diabetes. When really there isn't right now. The only cure to type 1 diabetes that I could think of is getting a new pancreas or getting a synthetic pancreas. Which is also all very new stuff. And then the cure for type 2 diabetes is... I mean, if you're really far in, I don't think there is necessarily a full-on cure. But if you're really, really, like, on the edge of it, healthy lifestyle. Exercise and eating healthily. You don't need to be consuming laundry detergent for something like that. But that's just me with diabetes. That's my personal input that I can give because I actually am one with a m malfunctioning pancreas. <laughs> oh, also, the hormone thing. I just wanted to debunk that real quick because of the site I'm looking at. That's just wrong. <laughs> that it helps with your testosterone and estrogen. I'm going through the site right now and literally one of the listed issues right next to toxicity and death is hormone issues. <laughs> So no, that's not going to help you. And I know she said a lot about, oh, it's just a pinch, just a tiny amount. And to be honest, that pinch probably isn't even the lethal dose that could do damage. But the thing is, you don't know how much a pinch is. A pinch isn't consistent. And let's say a kid wants to be like, oh, well, I want super good hormones. I want super non-diabetes. And then they just like pour a box of it in. That's not that's hyperbole but still it's also in your food throughout the day where you would get that normal amount that you need so if you eat healthily and also put borax in your drink you're gonna get an overdose and you're gonna end up having problems which is not good Th that that dosage is just not accurate enough and it's gonna cause people to damage themselves in irreparable ways possibly there's a lot of big words today less jokes this is just a serious thing do not put borax in your beverage so i did a little bit of digging at the end here and it looks like the video has been taken down which is really good that's awesome i just wanted to be able to talk about it because I saw it posted on Twitter, which is only going to spread it more. Dexerto, god damn it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's out there and it's around. So it is still a danger and I just wanted to make people aware of it and also to tell others maybe not to consume Borox. Something else to talk about at the lunch table while you're chilling with your friends because the school year is coming up soon and you'll have a reason to tell people to subscribe when you're, hey, when you're sitting at the lunch table, you want to tell people to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> But yeah, thank you uh, to R2, by the way, for giving me this topic to talk about today. This was really, really fun. I wanted to be able to look into this, and I got to learn some science along the way, which I didn't anticipate at all. Uh, as well as, oh my god, thank you to yes, last video, the gaming video, uh, that Five Nights at Freddy's one went so well. So I'm very happy that that went well. I'm happy that you enjoyed. As well as, one more thing, I'll stop saying as well as... Um, Thank you, Sully, Pimbernini, Com, Luke, JJ, Barfbag, and Shy for being members of the channel. If you want to be a member, be kind of swag of you. Be kind of, kind of Reddit gold, Keanu Reeves, Big Chungus, because I would be happy and also be able to maybe afford a meal occasionally. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for being here and watching this video today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it because I love sticking around and kept talking to you guys about fun topics that we run into each day. And if you want, have a topic you think that I should talk about, go to the video ideas channel in my Discord server and scream it at me. Just ping me and be like, look at this! There are people blowing up the Pentagon! No, don't. Okay, that's not. Anyway, let's get out of here. Thank you for being here. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and uh, don't eat borax, goofball. <laughs>